Now, we've already joined the wiki, so I want to teach you how to use your toolbar. I can see I'm signed in right here, and my edit button is black. That means that I can, uh, I can edit. Well, first of all, I'm going to go to my assignment page, and right now we're doing our sandbox project. Now, here's a trick. When you have a rubric on one page, and this is a rubric right here, if I want to go to my page, if I right-click and say Open Link in New Tab, now I have my page here, and I have my rubric here. Now, you can also, if you're running it from the desktop, you can also um, put them side by side, but I don't have a lot of room in this screen recorder, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to go to Edit, and you can see that I have my lovely toolbar here. Now, the assignment says that I am supposed to create a wiki page about any topic of interest, and I've been reading an amazing book about called the Viral Video Manifesto. So I'm going to write How to Make Viral Videos. It's going to be the topic, and I'm going to take this and make it a Heading 1. Uh, headings are your major topics. Search engines use those to determine what a page is about. And then your table of contents will use it as well. So I'm going to kind of go ahead and, um, and give a few um, items that need to be on this page. So now I've added my headings. I'm going to make all of these smaller headings. And a heading 2. And I'm just going to make this a heading 1 here. Now I want to insert a table of contents. There's two ways to do that. I can learn my wiki text tricks by doing bracket bracket TOC. For those of you who that scares, there's another easy way to do it. I have this lovely little widget button right here. I'm going to click Embed Widget, and I'm going to click on Table of Contents and Embed the Table of Contents. Now, there's two different types. A flat Table of Contents is really good across the top. Um, embed Table of Contents is a square that kind of appears on the right. Now, you cannot see it while it's on the page. You have to click Save to see the Table of Contents. And there's my lovely little table of contents with my headings. Now, I've got a few other things that I need to do. I see on my rubric, I've got to have two hyperlinks. I've got to have a picture. I've got to have three kinds of headings. I've already done this. I can mark that off my list. My table of contents, I've done it. My horizontal rule. So let's go ahead. Horizontal rule is real easy. I'm going to go ahead and do that. All I have to do is get to where I want to go and put the horizontal rule button. Now, one thing I will tell you is if you put the horizontal rule here at the bottom and you don't have any space after it, sometimes it makes it really hard to put spaces because that rule will just keep on moving down the page. So I'm going to put the horizontal rule right there underneath, and then I'm going to put another one right here. And you can see that I have my horizontal rules. And let me pause the video and type just a little bit more. So now I want to make a hyperlink. I'm going to highlight the viral video manifesto here and let me see where I put it up here at the top. Here it is, the Viral Video Manifesto from the Diet Cook and Mentos guys. Love them. They wrote an amazing book. I'm going to go back here and now I highlighted it already. I'm going to click Insert Link. Now be real careful here because this page or file, this is going to just link right on this actual wiki page. If I leave it like this, it's going to make a new page called the Viral Video Manifesto. Manifesto. Now, I don't want to do that. I want to actually link to a web address, and I'm going to put it here. I can make it open in a new window if I want people to stay on mine, um, so I'm going to just check that for now, but you don't have to. I'm going to click Add Link. So now I have a hyperlink, and it'll actually work um, in here, and I can put even more hyperlinks. But let's say I want to show an example of one of my favorite viral videos. Now, here's this video, Cat Jump Fail with Music, and this video has been viral for a while, but now, since somebody put it to the popular song Sale, it's doing even more. So I'm going to click Share which is going to take to this page, and then you want to embed because you are embedding. Now, I always check use old embed code because it's just a lot easier, and I'm going to just right-click and copy. Everything has to be selected. I'm going to go back here, and I'm getting ready to insert it. Now, there's two ways to insert. I use the trusty tried way of click embed widget. If you click on video, you can put in a YouTube link. It'll do it for you, but I kind of take it old school for everything I embed but just because I want to do it the right way and quickly in the first time. So I'm going to click Other HTML, and I'm going to right-click and paste right into here and click Save. Now, again, this is a widget, so you don't see it until you save it, and I'm going to click here, and I can save, and now people can watch. If it's allowed, people can watch this right from in the video. Now, my favorite part of this video I don't know if the sound is going to show, but it's got this lovely cat jumping there, and it's to the, the music sale there, so it's kind of funny. And I can see that I can edit. I see all my different revisions in here. Now, let's see what else I have to add that's real quick. 
Um, let's just go ahead, and this is probably not the best way to do this, but I'm just going to bold and I'm going to italic. Usually you want to have a reason to to do things. Uh, what is a viral video? I'll probably want to to define that. And the Diet Coke and Mentos guys, anytime you refer to who a person is, you definitely want to link to who they are because that's just good netiquette. Um, so I click to the top, I'm copying, and when you see me copy, a lot of times I don't right click and copy, I just control C, which is a hot key, it's a faster way to do that. So I'm going to say the Diet Coke and Mentos guys, and really I need to capitalize that because it's a proper noun, so I'll have to go back and do that here in a minute. My web address, remember I'm not making a new wiki page on this wiki, I'm linking it to another window, and I'm going to click save, and here we go, I've got just a lovely little page that's going here along with videos and such. Now if you ever see it's blocked you have to re-embed um, and you can see I've done just about everything. Um, a bulleted and numbered lists those happen um, right here with the bullets and the numbers um, and then we get to other widgets. Attractiveness we'll come to back to. Other widgets, you can see all your widgets right here and it's got this cool little education piece where you can embed Quizlet um, items and you can search and you can find it. Wordly wise, I'm just going to find it. Lesson 5, I can just go ahead and select that and save it. And I'm going to embed either flashcards, learning, speller, or scatter. So I'm just going to embed the flashcards. And I've embedded um, that. It's important to know how to make your flashcards and to share those with others. Now, attractiveness, remember that you do want to see hyperlinks. You don't want any dead text. You want it to look good. And, of course, this is not a complete page. Um, it's just a little bit of one to learn all about the toolbars. Just remember this table of contents is generated off of whatever you make the headings to do here. Uh, you can do tables. They're a little bit of a pain. Um, to me, but, but you can still do those. A lot of people like them. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and click Save. Now one other point to make is if you're editing with a lot of people, there is another little hidden feature in here. When you click Save, you can do the down arrow and save with a comment. And you can say, I added um, a link to the Diet Coke and Mentos guys. And this is really good netiquette, especially if you're doing an academic wiki with other people, because now when I look into my revision history of here, I can see that I have edited this page, and I can actually see what the page edits are, except it should show up. That revision should show up right there, except, you know what, I didn't make any changes, so it didn't resave that, I don't think, and put the comment. Okay, there we go. Good luck in making your sandbox, and I hope this helps. Love you guys.